This is something I love. This is something nice. I take something that's dirty, rusted, crunchy, and then you make it crisp, brand new. That's what I like. Welcome back to Nick's Garage and the 1970 Charger RT restoration. The car's only been at Nick's for a few weeks, but it's already picked up a couple of different nicknames, including the Can of Worms and the Rat Trap RT. There's no denying that this car is a little rough, but today it's taking a big step towards being brought back to life as Nick is packing up what's left of the original body so he can ship it off to be stripped. Gotta make sure they don't fall out. There's no trunk. So much open area that any parts in there, they're gonna move around, they're gonna fall out and uh, fall on the highway. So I gotta make sure they're tied down, get it in transport, and ship it up to the sandblasting. You know, I'm very fortunate enough to find somebody to work on this car, on the metal work, because uh, Roger, I know he's down the Charger 500, and he's overbooked, he's got a lot of work. And last year when he took the car in, when we got the car from California, we had the car dipped and then shipped to Rogers right away to get the uh, part on the uh, paintwork. But he's so crowded, he's so filled with work that he couldn't take up on this job. But anyways, I'm gonna let him do the other jobs he has in plan because you know, he's pushed in the charger, put a few other jobs on the side. So now he's gonna work on those jobs that he's put on the side and he's done with the charger, it's delivered here and he won't be able to touch this car. But I was fortunate enough to find someone named George that's going to take care of all the metal work and paint it also and then have it delivered here. Hopefully four to five months, which is pretty good. So in the meantime, while he's doing the metal work, I'll be starting doing the interior. I'll be looking for uh, to do the seats. Now we're looking for front bucket seats. I got Robert who's starting to do on the dash. I even picked up all the seats and the frames to start doing the upholstery. So far the upholstery is back order. The dash, well, we got the dash pad the other day with uh, Stefan, and there's a lot of work to be done. But first, let's get it to the sandblasting place, get it done, bring it to the body shop next week, and hopefully we start it on this car. And we've got a lot of metal work on order. George has ordered a few pieces, and so has uh, Stefan brought in a few pieces. So, you know, we still need uh, a few more pieces to come in, or back order, but let's get started with what we have. I gotta find a way to tie down the hood. Okay. I don't know how we're gonna do this, but I'll figure out something. Here we go. You know, I've been reading, uh, I've been reading the comments when the uh, video went up on this car. It is a mess. I know it's a mess. I took a chance on it, and you know what? It's gonna be fun putting it together. It is what Stefan wants. You know, uh, I've told him that you could buy a car a lot cheaper turnkey but his mind is set on this car because he went through uh, two years to go get it from Texas. He picked it up personally, he brought it back. Okay, he did a lot of work and uh, to get it through the border, bring it here, bought a few pieces. So now the car has a little story behind it. And you know, Stefan doesn't want to give it up. He says, Nick, you know what? I got it started, I bought pieces for it and that's my dream right now, so I'm not gonna stop. So you know what, I took it from here and uh, we're gonna fulfill his dream. This is uh, pretty sad, pretty sad. But you know what? It is a 440 Charger. It's a beautiful car once it's done and it's gonna be great. And of course, you know, my client doesn't wanna go FA Green. He wants to do what he wants. He's gonna go black for the four speed with a red bumblebee stripe in the back. I know a lot of comments tell me that 
gold original color, but you know what? There's a lot of F8 green cars at the car shows. Maybe black also, but you know what? At the bottom line, it's what the customer wants. Yeah, you know, the Americans call it Taja, or should I say Charger. You know, we have a way of saying Dana, or Dana 60, or Dana 60. You know, there's a Canadian version, there's an American version. Everybody has his own way, and uh, whatever it is, it's all the same to me. I call it a Taja. Like a lot of Greeks would say, it's a Taja. There's one in Athens, Greece, a 68 Charger I went to see last year, but I didn't have a chance to meet the guy. He was on his vacation while I was on vacation, and uh, I got to speak to him on the phone, never saw the car. After all, it is a Charger, that's what he has, in the middle of the city of Athens. No matter how you pronounce it, Charger, Taja, whatever you want to call it, it's a beautiful muscle car. No, I don't do my own body work here or metal work. I send them out. And then when the car comes back here within, let's say, hopefully in a few months, while you're waiting for those few months to get the car metal work done and the paint work, while you're sitting at the shop or so I say doing other jobs, get the interior ready, get the dash ready, start looking for all the trim. This is where it takes a lot of time. So when the car comes in, within a month, two months, two and a half months max, you got the whole car turnkey and running. So while the car is gone, I'll be start working on the engine, which is right here. That's gonna get started on next week. I'm working on the transmission. We've ordered a lot of trim pieces. So I've asked Stefan to bring in all the pieces that he's bought on his own, so I can see what I can order to get this car rolling. So like I said earlier, while it's getting done at the body shop, metal work, my job is to get the things going while we are waiting for the car to come back. So get moving on it, get those parts, there's a lot of pieces, there's a lot of trim, there's a lot of stuff that are no good in this car that I cannot repair, so we gotta start working on. And a lot of times, pieces on these things are getting rare, more expensive, back order, out of stock, or whatever, so it makes my job a lot harder. So I gotta start rushing, ordering parts as fast as I can, so hopefully when the car comes back in four or five months, that I can get started on it. And hopefully next year we get it delivered. No sitting around, get it going. Here it is, the final moment. So one car is gonna leave my shop, so I got room for another car. Money time here, we're gonna get this one out, get it to the sandblaster. We're gonna have to strap it down. I put a, I put a few tie downs, but uh, 
According to the law, he's got to put his own strap, tie down, make sure no doors or any parts from inside come flying out on the highway. So Stefan, if you're watching, we got started. Got to make sure we tie it down good. We don't want to lose this muscle car on the highway. The next time I see it, it's going to be uh, one solid piece. But it's going to take some time to get there. We're going to go through step by step on this project. Let's get another dream machine going. Could be another dream machine. Yeah. It looks like no good right now, but you know what? With a lot of with a lot of loving, tender and care, we're gonna make this a beautiful car. Yeah, there's a lot of work involved in this one, that's for sure. You know what? This is something uh this is something I love. This is something nice. I take something that's dirty, rusted, crunchy, and then you make it crisp, brand new. That's what I like. This is a true blue resurrection. You know, it's been parked since 1979, and right now, hopefully by the end of next year, we have it running. We are moving on it. You know, the day the car came in, which was a couple of weeks ago, the moment it came in, we start working on it the same day it came into my shop. And now we made a rendezvous for the sandblasting. So today's the day it's taking it in and uh, get it delivered there. And when it's done, off to the metal shop or body shop and start working on the metal work. You know, we're getting older, so you know what? Time is precious and we don't want things lying around anymore. So I got to try to get a move on it. We located a body shop that's going to do the job. We're going to do the best we can with him. After all, you know, there's not too many guys available to do jobs at this anymore. And a lot of guys don't want to do these projects. But I got one guy, a friend of mine, which I've known him doing a lot of uh, Mustangs, and he's also done a TA Challenger, and now he's taking on this project for a Dodge Charger. Can't wait to get it done.
There goes another one. You know, looking at it from out here, it doesn't look much of a car. There she goes. Okay, we got a big project ahead of us. And this is not a joking matter. There it is, you guys, going off to the sand blasting. And now, I got it ready, get everything else ready. Okay, thanks for watching, guys, here on Nick's Garage. And you guys, if you look down below the video, we have a whole bunch of merchandise that you guys can buy. So whatever you like, buy it, love it, wear it, and enjoy it. And help spread the word of Mix Garage. And if you have some time, check out our Patreon page. We have extra content and you guys can watch it and take it from there. And we'll see you next time.